just in case you're wondering what my husband is doing. So Sebastian is a painter and I designed this logo. Do you like it? I gave Seb a lift to a mechanic and now I'm going to do amazing stuff with dishes. And during that amazing task, I normally like to watch podcasts, so basically YouTube videos, longer ones when people chit chat about knitting and um, so on and so on. And because it's December, probably be Vlogmas, but I see a pile of dishes and kind of cold, so I bought Whitfield hat and kind of works well with my new thingy. I love it so much. So now I'm working on my secret project because that's the priority, 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 priority. <laughs> How do you say that? Um, yeah, so I have a bit to do and this one is really part that I have to focus. Uh, I'm working with many balls. Yeah, and yeah, and I'm listening to, I think her name is Mel Robinson. So if you haven't heard about her, I would say check her out. And I would say just watch three videos and you'll be like, she is a badass. She is. Oh, hi. Hi, hello, Pickles. How are you doing? I hope you're all well. Hey. Oh, I'm just, you know, doing my standard, checking the inventory of the yard stash, just making sure it's, it's got nothing to do with having had a house guest who, you know, made the occasional joke about, oh, I'm going to steal your yard while you're asleep, and oh, I'm going to smuggle some of it back into my jumper. I made myself a tea, and I need to remember to drink it, because normally it stays cold, and that's that. So I'm really, really happy with the mug that I got from Lidl, or Lidl, whichever way you want to say it, because it's a thermo mug, so, no. Is it? But anyway, it shows you outside if something is still warm or cold. <laughs> Quite handy. Um, so anyway, the knitting goes well, although it's a very kind of playing with balls things. Um, so yeah, and sometimes I would think like, oh, that's a lot of work. But it's short moment. But just for a short moment. And uh, so, um, so if you're struggling in any project, what I do, for instance, this is a gift knit. So it doesn't have to be a gift knit. But if you're knitting for yourself and you know, you know you want it, or you know that you want that person to have it, it's so, so simple to uh, power through it because, well, I just imagine them having fun or really enjoying it and to be honest the thing that I'm knitting now I want to have one so whoever wants to knit one for me just knit for me I can have three or four any kinds um, I love it so much um, yeah so I know I can't tell you what it is but stay tuned subscribe and wait for the shop Jack video it's going to happen now I think sooner than later I would say yeah we're heading there, we're heading there. I'm not sure is it interesting or not, so let me know down below, but um, lately I start to go back and read books, and the books I like to read, they're kind of, what you call it, guides? Is that right? Um, so what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the books that will teach you something or at least show you the things that people do their way. I'm not saying that I be doing everything what they say, but I like to see other people's um, ideas, opinions, how they do their stuff. So this book is about cleaning. <laughs> and Seb was laughing that uh, when we were waiting at a hospital yesterday, he was saying, because the only thing I could do, I could read this book. He was saying it's a perfect gift for a guy. And I was like, why for a guy? Most of the time women clean. And he was like, yeah, exactly. To show the guy how much needs to be done. <laughs> because of the value of the thing and you know, what's written down in it. Obviously it's in Polish, so sorry, there's now no English. But yeah, 
so much fun that made me laugh anyway i hope it's going to make you laugh too so look for the book about cleaning and give it to i'm not saying a guy only but any person that doesn't clean or thinks that the cleaning is an easy or a quick task um yeah they may change their mind and oh yeah that's something and here oh yeah i noticed because i found in the bag these are those beauties i got in my third advent calendar that unfortunately i'm not opening with you but oh one day i'll just put it up because i'm not sure i presume i missed some and now i started this one and these are the box that i got in poland and this is also polish this is a quite a famous polish uh tv presenter showman i don't know whatever titles you have tomasz with tom and uh, camel with K <laughs> and this is Mots of Gambia which means like have a power in your mouth <laughs> I hope I'm translating it right you know what I don't even have a clue how to translate that give me a sec I have to think now right so I thought it through and this is a trick because gadach it's not a, like a we would say different word we say rozmawiać that's the better word so this is kind of slang let's say it that way or different part of Poland you know people use different uh, verbs for different things um, so the idea over here is so I can interpret this sentence is how to talk oh it's so hard I don't have a clue give me a sec what the Google translator says about this okay so the Google translator says how to talk to get along is that along would be okay so the talk the way that both sides will understand each other and go to some kind of understanding am i right tom <laughs> no worries he speaks english so yeah i just started and i love it so much the first one and i'm already a thinking and i like when something makes me think love it recommend it to anyone unfortunately it's in polish so but each book gives one meal to a child hungry child in poland i love this yeah do you read any interesting books and this is what I do, procrastinate, that's the word, not to go in front of the computer. Uh, but I started with this one, which is funny, isn't it? Why would I start with a book about cleaning? Because I believe that when in your surrounding area you have everything organized, you can think clearly, do things, you don't have any excuses. And no worries, if I would flip the camera now all the way around, you will see a big mess. Big mess like explosion of a mess <laughs> wait a bit more with the things i should be doing what i should be doing i want to do those things but yeah yeah do you have the same feeling just let me know or i'm just the only one in the whole world feeling this way so would you say would that make me a clean freak if you were in my house you know i'm not and another thing that i want to try is this one the five second journal and it is written by mel robbins I hope I'm saying her surname right. And if she'd seen this and said, why are you not filling in? I hear her voice. Um, yeah, procrastinating. <laughs> but I love the idea. Look at this. So um, the way it's done, it's so thought through that you can have it flipped on the desk and ready to go. There's no excuses that, oh, it's folding back, I have to open it up, and so on, so on. So I love it. But how I'm going to use it, I'm still thinking of it, because obviously there is an idea how to use it, but um, I want to do this, use it at this for my online shop. So if you don't haven't seen my online shop, is knittingilove.com. It's something little tiny thing, and um, I know I would uh, like to, love to spend more time and do more things on it. Um, and I hope this is going to help me. But this is really good to any dreams, any goals, anything you have in life um, that you think to do because you love it, because you have a passion for it. Um, and unfortunately, some things that needs to be done in it, it's maybe not as passionable as you would want. So um, this, is, this is my idea. This is my idea. I love it and I'm making a pouch for it because look what it has look what it has elastic elastic band my beautiful pouch check my pouches in the shop
okay, I've decided I'm going to do it. I'm not going to use any excuses. So basically, this is my brain that I was using in 2018 and it's almost done. And I'm going to, I literally have just one page that I can fill it in. Otherwise, if I have any notes, I'm just sticking it wherever I can and some gaps that I left not written. I got a ready new one and I hope to have fun with it during the weekend. So this is the pouch, um, the tower pouch yellow, which is intelligence. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you know, you know, we'll hear about it more. So now, I won't be waiting for my pouch. I know I'll have it in January. This one I'm going to use for a different one. I love elastic bits, so uh, that's that. This is the pouch that I used a previous year. So this is 2018, this was 2017. This is how it looks. It's really loved, and the only thing that I was able to find is these. Um, I have some of this, but every time, it could probably see it bitten. Every time I have to take it out, I'm afraid I'm going to lose it, and then, you know, this is this is just um, a tiny little fine marker, isn't it? Like, I don't know how you call it. But this is a biro or ball pen, how, uh, if you would love it. You just put it on the side, and it's not a desk. <laughs> put it on the side and that way I have access to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill something because I'm doing it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out. I think it's something really fun and worth checking and having fun, basically. So five, four, three, two, one, let's I'll do this. Yep. My website, my email, knittingilove.com and let's have fun. At least few bits, few bits, let's do it. Oh. Can actually kind of read what's going on over here. Have the best day ever. So yeah, once you get it, I'm going to put the link to this. I got it in the book, book something. It's so, so good. I love it. Um, I haven't even started yet and I love it already. So get the and done. <laughs> okay, so let's fill this up. Okay, so here it is. Here how it looks. If you want to pause and read what I wrote, if it matters to you, interests you, go for it. Um, I don't have anything to hide, actually. So, uh, yeah, I haven't touched this one because, yeah, it'll be a gap off doing other things. But I love this. This is, this is something to remind you every day why you do certain things. And then put a light that you also do things for yourself, not only all the time for others. If you're not happy, people around you will not be happy. At least that's my kind of way of thinking. Am I right? You're awesome. Go rock the day. Invest in yourself. Always. I've put up one Vlogmas, day 18, so I deserve a goodie. posted two vlogs and I'm doing tags. I haven't finished them and I may not be able to but tomorrow morning I hope to finish it and to do some sale for the tags um, 2018. So if you're looking and you're interested check the links down below. You don't need a code I'll just drop the price. So now what I'm going to do I'm going to open Advent calendars and as usual my two lovelies. Let's go with the first one. Now, 20th, now, something long, oh. <laughs> I think I will have two millimeters, I've never knitted with two millimeters, have you done that? Two millimeters would be well, a size zero, zero US size, zero US size, is that a lace? Yeah. Let me know down below. Have you knitted with two millimeters, your size zero? I'm interested, and it's lovely, lovely pink. And the yarn, ladies and gentlemen, Cat's Kettle, Sock, Antique Roses. And I have a really fancy stitch marker, Progress Keeper. Sorry, check this out, this yarn. And do you see this thing? Oh my, so lovely. I would actually wear it as a necklace. <laughs> um, so here it is, just in case I said something wrong. So check. And the lovely label. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So nice. So nice. 20th. 
Who likes purple? I'm just saying. Ooh, pin me to your bag. Oh, look at this. So here it is. Here what I got. I got a kitten. Like a really, really cute one. And this beautiful purple yarn. The bits are from the bag. Um, Seven Sister Arts. Branwen, Win? Branwin? Branwin? Bran something. So check this out. So nice. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, that's not all. And we have a Kitchener stitch. I never do a setup thing. Maybe I'll try setup. Pour from knit back. Front, knit off, pour leave, pearl off, knit, leave. Repeat last two rows. So nice. Thank you. Spoil me rotten today. And also today I'm going to pick one mini and an extra thingy in my third advent calendar. So I think I'm going to leave you with that. Go check my shop if you're interested to get snag those um, tags for 2018 still. I have for 2019 so you can have a pick over that too. And till the next one. My full of minis hat so far is so good. I know, loads of ends. I'll deal with them later. Ah, oh, cutie.